All right, so this video is going to be a little bit pointless, a little bit self-serving. I made a tweet the other day in response to this tweet talking about how this individual, Lewis Doyle here, said Z Fold 5 is a better multitasking device, the Pixel Fold is a better folding phone. Any thoughts? I said two apps done well is better than five done poorly. Now, before I even go any further, I must admit, I probably could have worded that tweet a little bit better, okay? Obviously, this is my opinion. However, I think that this is about as close to an objective thing as an opinion can be while still being an opinion. Now, after posting this, we're going to go over exactly what's happening in that video and what we're seeing, but after posting this, I did have several people tell me that I was wrong, that Samsung's behavior is correct. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over exactly what I'm talking about in this video, and I'm going to kind of explain why I think this is as close to an objective fact as possible, that what the Pixel Fold is doing makes more sense. And if you are someone that is in the other camp, what I need you to do in the comments is give me a rebuttal. Tell me why I am wrong. Tell me why this is completely an opinion and that this has no basis in objective reality or and or that I am incorrect. So let's take a look at it. All right, Z Fold, Pixel Fold, if that wasn't obvious enough. Let's very quickly go over my thesis here. Two apps done well is better than five apps done poorly. So over here on the Z Fold, we have all the possible apps open, and I guess it's four, not five. I don't know where I got five from. Anyways, we have all the apps open. We have a floating window. We have an app, an app, an app. On the Pixel Fold, we have all the apps it can do open, which is simply two. So most people would look at this and say, wow, this is better at multitasking. And sure, in that regard, in that way that it can have four different apps open at once, yeah, it is better. And personally, I think what's better than four apps is really just like one app with a floating window. Like I really do wish the Pixel Fold had the floating window thing, but whatever, it doesn't have that. This can do more apps, but I think this can do two apps better. And let me explain what I mean here. To demonstrate this, we need to be at least a layer deep in both applications. We're just going to go into Clash of Clans over here. We're going to TikTok over here. Somehow or another, I didn't load. Okay, there we go. On Twitter, we'll jump into this tweet from Aiden Walls, who is a great up-and-coming YouTuber that you should definitely be subscribed to for retro handhelds. We'll do the same thing over here. Okay. Everyone knows if you want to go back on one of these devices, you swipe in from the side. But the way that they behave on these two different devices when you're split-screening could not be more different. On the Pixel Fold, if I want to go back on Twitter, I swipe back on Twitter, and that will go back. If I want to go back over here on the Play Store, the app on the left, I simply swipe back on the left side and it will go back on that app. You just swipe back on top of the app you want that action to take place on and that's how it works. With the Z Fold, it is different. If I want to go back on Twitter, I must make sure that Twitter is in focus by tapping it, swiping on, interacting with it in some way, it is now in focus. At this point, I swipe back here or here will still go back on Twitter. So let's say I'm using Twitter and now I want to go back on the Play Store. I can't just swipe over here. I have to actually tap the Play Store and then go back. An additional step is required. You must bring the app back into focus and then you can do the action on it. So at the very minimum, there is going to be quite often an extra and additional step added to this process. Now, the fact that it does require that extra step, I think, is a pretty big deal to me. And it also is about as close to an objective statement of fact as you can get while still talking about something that is an opinion, right? My metaphysical claim there would be it's better for things to be easier. Doing less work is optimal. So let's take a second and let's think about why Samsung would be doing things the way that they are doing it. Let's close the Z Fold to kind of demonstrate this. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up the Play Store and Twitter like this. So this basically has this split screening maintained, but now it's on a vertical screen. For the longest time, this is how split screening on our phones worked in the bygone eras, the pre-foldable eras. And in this setup, it makes sense to have the back gesture act upon 
the last used app because it doesn't really make sense like to have to reach up here to go back up here and down here. Maybe that does make sense. So I don't know. But that, I can understand why the gestures were done the way that they were. So what Samsung is doing here is taking the same gesture setup that it used on its phones that all Android phones used that had split screen multitasking and carrying that over to its foldables which to me just simply does not make sense. This is not a normal phone. This is a device that has two apps side by side, not on top of one another, at least for the most part. I don't know how many people do the on top of each other split screening, but in every demo they show, it's almost always side by side. It is a two-handed device. You've always got a thumb here to swipe, a thumb here to swipe. That is just more intuitive. And let me double down on that. If we took someone who had no idea about any of this stuff, right? They had no prior knowledge. You showed them this goes back in an application and then you handed them this device just like this and you ask them to go back over here and then back over here. What do you think they're gonna do? They're gonna try to swipe here and they're gonna try to swipe here. They're not gonna think to bring one back into context, to bring one back into focus and then swipe over. They're just going to assume the swipes go with the app that they're swiping. I'm swiping over here. This should be for this app. This seems really obvious to me. I actually had one person, and I forgive me, I can't remember your name. I think it was on threads. They told me that it made sense to them because they used the device with one hand and they were right-handed. But this doesn't make sense either. Because if I'm scrolling over here and I want to go back on this app, I'm going to have to bring the other hand in to what? Tap it? I might as well just swipe to go back. It's not removing anything. Unless, of course, you're trying to like pull this maneuver. You're like over here and like, oh, I need to go back on the Play Store. Let me just reach over here and do that and then go back. Does that seem reasonable? So what effort, what work are you saving? You're not saving anything. You're still doing an extra step. You're still having to bring the other hand in to bring it into focus and then do your gesture. Why not just have it set up so that you just do the gesture? So guys, I'm going to assume the best of people. I'm going to assume this is not an issue of fanboyism or any sort of preferential thing like that. I'm going to assume they have, that people have, a legitimate reason for preferring Samsung's approach. And I'm going to assume that those people will tell me about it in the comments down below. Again, I'm open to understanding. I need to understand this actually is bugging me because I cannot wrap my head around how that makes any sense at all. So help me out in those comments down below. Again, sorry for the slightly pointless and self-serving video. Maybe you find this conversation to be interesting as well. I hope that you do because otherwise it is truly a pointless and self-serving video video. If you enjoyed it for some reason, I guess you could subscribe before you go hit that like button maybe. I'll see you on the next one guys. Until next time, stay nerdy my friend.